hello friends so now this video is related to a topic of resultant force or it is also known as total pressure force and center of pressure on a horizontal plane surface under a uniform pressure this figure shows a plane surface this is a top view of the plane surface is represented here so this plane horizontal surface is placed under the fluid at a distance h and the total pressure force is given by the equation pressure into area we all know that the unit of pressure is newton per meter square so when it is multiplied with the area of the plate which is nothing but for this rectangular plate it is b into d sometimes any other type of plates can be used like a circular plate at that time area will be 5 by 4 d square in that case so for all that <coughs> cases the total pressure force can be find out by using the equation p into a also the pressure from the hydrostatic low can be given by the equation rho into g into h <coughs> where h is the height of the horizontal surface from the free surface of liquid or you can say the height at which the horizontal surface is submerged in the liquid suppose the same equation is need to be find out in terms of vertical plate then this diagram indicates a vertical plate having a, a random shape with a strip or say a small strip is cut down into it and the whole vertical plate having center of gravity at point G and center of pressure at point P in the liquid so this strip is placed at the height h from the free surface of liquid center of gravity is at h bar and center of pressure is at h star position also the force is acting at the center of pressure this is the side view left hand side view of the plate which is submerged so in order to find out the center of pressure which is nothing but h star which is given by the equation ig divided by a h bar plus h bar this question is asked in the gtu examination many a times and it is very important while solving the examples of the vertical plate submerged in the liquid let's see how to find it out so first thing that you need to remember or the first thing that you need to start up with is the equation in which the s star is mentioned which is f into h star is equal to rho g i zero so from where this equation is generated it is originated while taking a moment at o suppose this is a o point which is at the top of the vertical plate so there are one force which is f is acting at the point of center of pressure which is at the height h star so one moment is f into h star which is nothing but in a in a anti clockwise direction 
and another force is acting on the strip in a clockwise direction which is defined by the equation df into h so here it is the force which is acting at this momentum is df into h where df can be given by the equation pressure into area as shown in this case which is nothing but rho into g into h into dA because here it is a total force here it is a uh, derivation of the force on a strip so into dA into h so it is nothing but rho g h square into dA where h square into dA is a second moment of inertia and that second moment of inertia is nothing but I zero so this equation is rho into g into I zero that is placed at the right hand side because it is a clockwise moment and f into h star is the anticlockwise moment at the left hand side so it is nothing but moment at the O now f can be given by the equation of rho into g into a into h bar because this force is acting at the center of pressure but this force is uh, uh, this force is counted from the height of center of gravity so any force is uh, acting on the body that have its own effect from the center of gravity so that's why whether it is vertical one whether it is inclined one the f equation will remains rho into g into a into h bar so rho into g into a into h bar multiply by h star is equal to rho g i zero here h star making an equation of the h star will nothing but i zero divided by a h bar and i zero is nothing but i g plus a h square divided by a h bar will give you the equation i g divided by a h bar plus h bar in order to find out center of pressure for the vertical plate now for the inclined plate if someone wants to find out the same equation then in case of inclined plate a plate is inclined and submerged in the liquid having a distance of inclination of y star of center of pressure g center of gravity at y bar and at the strip y the vertical distance is also mentioned which is nothing but h h bar and h star respectively at strip at center of gravity and at center of pressure so in this case again the equation remains same instead of h star in the vertical case now here it is moment at o will be f which is acting at this point f into y star is equal to df into y and df into y is given from this equation which is dp into da df into y in case of df it is rho into g into y because it is an inclination and the strip is at y distance into sin theta into da into y because the h rho into g into h now h become y sin theta in this case and into da into y so the equation would be rho g y square sin theta into da and rho g sin theta integration of y square into da which uh, y square into da is nothing but second moment of inertia and it will given by the equation of i0 so now f into y star will become i uh, rho into g into sin theta into io and f 
for the vertical for the horizontal for any cases it is rho g a into h bar as mentioned earlier putting into this equation rho g a into h bar into y star is equal to rho g i sin theta into y zero so y star is equal to i zero sin theta divided by h bar and h star y star means h star divided by sin theta as per this trigonometry mentioned over here is equal to i zero sin theta divided by h bar and h star is equal to sin square theta divided by a h bar i g plus a y bar square and y bar is also h bar upon sin theta so the final equation is sin square theta divided by a h bar i g plus a h bar square divided by sin square theta now suppose this plate is a horizontal one and if it is a horizontal one then theta will become zero so if the theta will become zero if the theta will become zero in this case then sin zero is equal to zero and the equation will be h star is equal to h bar itself or h itself suppose the suppose the theta is equal to 90 means this plate is vertical then sin square theta means 1 upon h bar plus ig 1 upon h bar plus ig plus h bar upon 1 so the equation would be ig divided by h bar plus h bar that is the equation for the vertical plate so in both the cases it will satisfy the horizontal one also as well as for the vertical one so we have already seen three cases first one is horizontal one in which the center of pressure is the height at which the body is submerged in the liquid second one is the vertical one in case of vertical one the equation of center of pressure is ig upon a h bar plus h bar and in case of inclined one the equation would be ig uh, sorry sin square theta divided by h bar ig plus h bar upon sin square theta thank you very much have a nice day